Last year, during this season, there were many representatives of different countries waiting for a talented and good student holding their CVs. But this year, the situation is different. Although many students, after the extended quarantine, are coming back to campus, but the university decided to cancel all offline job fairs due to the precautions related to coronavirus. Moreover, many companies, due to their increased costs, reduced the number of job offers. So during this hard time, how to get this job offer? Follow me. I'm Stacy. I'm student of USTC. I've been working on the topic of employment for some time. And this is a splendid landscape of my university. But my university is not the focus of our talk today. Today we're going to get some insights about the current employment situation. Today we are going to have a talk with two graduating students who, because of coronavirus, encountered a problem during their job search. Hi, Wang Jie, Wang Chen Fei. Hi. Uh, what's your situation now? Have you found a job? 我个人的情况是我投了这个几份简历吧，然后有些因为疫情嘛，有些公司的职位就是可能不招了，然后就没有回复，然后有些是给了这个面试的邀请。呃，我目前还好，然后大概投了五六份简历。你们会不会焦虑？嗯，担心的话跟往年比是稍微担心了一点的，但是关于这方面，学校这边就是老师每天会给我们汇总那个各地的招聘信息，然后让我们选择自己专业相关的。这个拓宽了，其实我们了解就业信息的这个渠道其实方便很多。嗯，那挺不错的。虽然现在线都是进行线上线上进行招聘，但是与线下招聘有一定的不同。但是呃，从线上来说，我们有更多的这个招聘渠道。呃，我听说下半年的话，随着中国疫情的好转，然后下半年陆续的话，很多企业会进行一些线上招聘。嗯，感谢你们今天的分享，也希望你们快点找自己的理想的工作。谢谢，谢,谢。This is some problem that Chinese students encountered, but maybe it's a global problem. Let's see. Hi, I'm Stacy. What's up? How's everything there? Are you okay? Hi, nice to see you. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. So, I, I heard that you are looking for a job right now, right? Yes, actually, well, I am on my second year of PhD, and I think it's a good time to start looking for an offer. Any problems in getting a job offer? It's a little bit hard to find an offer. Uh, my PhD research is centered on the field of technology innovation, so only a, a very specific kind of companies are interested in a profile like mine. So, what is the current situation with the job market in your country? Suddenly, for the moment, it's difficult for the pandemic situation. Well, the external companies don't want to to get more workers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's difficult for the moment. So, what about your government? Does government provide any support to job seekers? Yes, uh, the government provides the financial support for a few months until uh, you could find a job. Also, they have a job center where you could upload your your CV and get offers for formal companies in France. So, it's a good way to help people. Okay, bye. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye. Today we are going to visit a famous professor of USTC who has been investigating a topic of employment in Korea for almost a decade. Hey, Hello. professor. But we have a couple of questions that we'd okay, like to ask you. Yeah. Thank you. So, Professor, can you tell us about the current situation? What the Chinese government uh, made to improve uh, the employment-related problems in China right now? China government has some very good solutions um, to help students here. For example, they offer lots of online job fairs. And those online job fairs, students can easily find jobs there. I think it's much easier than like face-to-face -face job fair. And the second thing, the Chinese government also provides some positions there. The government itself provides more job uh, positions for students. Uh, the students more opportunity. I think this is a good solution. Okay, 
Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for the suggestions. I think we got a lot of information and a lot of things uh, to think about. At some points in life, each one comes to a crossroads. And often we don't know which one to choose. Maybe this one, maybe that one. Just pick one and move forward.